Nope. I was unboxing the head. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a little plushy. I've been picked on three times today. Oh, because of my trousers. What's wrong with your trousers? Look at the fucking size of them. the things in the world that have never happened that has never happened the most that is the most didn't happen shit of all time it's bad boys she's in and out of rehab she does what she wants and she looks cool doing it top five fails of last month Puberty fairy? The fuck did you just call me? The puberty fairy? Puberty fairy? I'm the hormone monster. I'm not a fairy. I mean, sure, I fuck around with dudes, but I'm not a fairy. Rats, we're rats. We're the rats. I am not Batman. I'm Batman. Of course, I can show the most unique fursuits I've seen. This is a goldfish. They're so cute. This is a friend of mine. Their name is Stellar. They're a mano kit based on a jazz cup. It's hilarious and amazing. Oh my god, okay. I have a soft spot for insect suits. That was a moth, I believe. Dogs are not unusual, but to have a dog done in this style, this breed is very unusual. Again, cats, not very strange. But it's got three eyes. It's like an alien cat or something. I think it's really cute. And then like, woo, lots of colors. Again, big soft spot for the insect suits. They're really cute. And Bash the Pinata was on my previous list, but honestly, they belong here too. Don't see too many dinosaur suits. Or, co I mean roosters. I do love a good bird suit. And the really realistic, like, werewolf looking things. This is either an Okapi or an alien. This list would not be complete without Gizmo and Gadget. I believe this is a Cicada. <laughs> I love how bouncy it is. Don't see too many insects. And the Furby. Alright, I get it, fine. You're all without fathers, alright? I'm I not. I love my dad. Hey kids, Honey Dadger here. Looks like y'all want me to squish more of my bases. So, I left this base smushed under this table for 24 hours. And as you can see, it's very flat. It didn't bounce back right away. It's a, it, it held that flat shape there. <laughs> but I still had hope. I let it sit for 12 hours and look at how well it puffed back up. There's some mild deformation in the muzzle, but for being squished under a table, it looks great. 
so have no fear if you're trying to travel with one of these TPU bases. It can handle it. of the most unique fursuits that I saw at Midwest Fur Fest. One was from Willy's Wonderland, the Nicolas Cage this looks movie. like a spider. It's really cute. These two were wearing lab coats. God, I love that salamander looking mask. This really realistic looking muscular dog suit. Very cool. Number five, Star Cry the Cat has permanent tears in her eyes. Stars too. The mascot style costume is pretty rare at furry conventions. Oh my God, I love these two so much. They're so cute. This is Zipner, a sugar glider. Check out the paws. I'm a huge sucker for the strawberry lemonade color scheme. Just look at the gorgeous pastel colors and the dress. Another animal you don't see that often, a leopard seal. Oh, wow, the colors in this fursuit are incredible. People always ask me if I've ever seen a frog. Yes. I have never seen anime fursuits before. Now I have. I love the material these dragons used for their wings. It's really creative. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the fursuits. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing a suit up and assembly for this fursuit commission that I did. This character has several parts that zip off of the body for both easier transport, easier cleaning, and so that the client can actually partial with it. The arms zip onto the body and the wings slide through two little holes that are in the back of the torso, as well as the tail having this part that it zips onto the bum directly, and then there's this nice little sleeve that pulls over top of it and hides the seam. The feet also zip onto the body. Each one is marked for left and right accordingly. And once they are all zipped onto this body, you can see that it's perfectly ready to go. Kind of neat seeing it all together like that, isn't it? And now we get ready to actually put the thing on. But you know what? You can't just put a fursuit on with normal human clothes. You need to go into your under armor, protect that inside from the sweat and keep it clean and smelling fresh. Once you put it on, it's basically like putting on a pair of pants, slip into the shoes inside, put the arm straps for the wings over your shoulders, arms through the armholes, zip up the center, and then just put on the paws, same as you'd put on any kind of gloves. I personally prefer to do the head first and then the hands so that I can be able to adjust anything if needed. Putting on my non-dominant hand first and then using my dominant hand and the other to kind of snug the other one on. It's a little bit tricky sometimes, but once you get the hang of it, ta-da, there it is. Look at that beautiful fluffy suit! This character's name is Bean, and they were done for Cottage Duchy, whom I will tag below this video. This character was a lot of fun to make, and I tried a lot of new things with their build to try and push my abilities as an artist even further than they already are. I'm really proud of the overall shape of the Digi, the cleanness of the feet, as well as that absolutely incredible head. This is honestly the best head I've ever made, and I couldn't be happier. I hope Bean loves their new home and makes lots of fantastic memories with all their new friends over in the Czech Republic. Gonna be super duper fun! Thank you so much for sitting through this awesome little two minute video. Doodles! Where you get your grills from? I got them from uh, Johnny Dang. You lying? Yeah. <laughs> Where you really get them from? I got them from my doodle. <laughs> <laughs> 